The Art Room, Drawing and Painting with Emily Carr, written by Suzanne Vandy Greek, illustrated by Ka Pascal Malelli. The ad in the news advertiser read, Miss M. Emily Carr, Classes in Drawing and Painting Studio, Room 6. And so we came and found that new stone building on Granville Street. And we thundered up those bare marble stairs, past typewriters talking business and tongues babbling news. We threw our hellos to Janitor John and piled through the door into the world of the art room where pinks and purples spilled from window boxes and leapt from walls, where squirrels scolded from cages while red-crested bullfinches cheerfully whistled, where Sally the cockatoo in lemon and white sailed crazily around the room, while black patch Billy barked and bounded to greet us, and Miss Carr, dark hair falling from a pile on her head, lit up and laughed with us all. We hovered at tables with sketch pad, pencil, charcoal, as Peter and Peggy skittered here and there, nibbling or rubbing out bread. We perched on stools while Sally perched on Miss Carr, and we copied casts of hands, heads of friends, as our artist danced and sang her way through the room, pointing out, rubbing out, eyeing, neighing, or demonstrating, getting us to make paint fly and paper come alive. And sometimes, when outside beckoned too strong, we folded up our camp stools, packed up our colors, and went to paint the town. The peculiar buildings, the hidden stables, the hemmed in alleys, the disappearing tracks. Or we hoofed it with Billy across the bridge and set up our gear at the edge of the park to paint en plein air the tide washed inlets, the paint hugging banks, the boat bobbing harbor. And nothing mattered except seeing and being and doing your all with pencil or brush or charcoal. Back in the studio when time was up and more, the water was boiled, the tea slopped out, and we giggled and gulped and gabbed with Miss Carr about people and animals and art. Only then did we tear our gaze from thickening trees, summer shores, thunderbird houses, and drag ourselves down those cold, hard stairs past the darkened offices into the dimming light of our parents' meeting world. Oh, we sighed and waved by, and then went out to sea with eyes that were wide. Emily Carr, 1871 to 1945. Emily Carr was a Canadian artist and writer who spent most of her life in Victoria, British Columbia. Born in 1871, she grew up in a large family and developed a lifelong love for animals and for art. In her late teenage years, Emily left home to study art in San Francisco, then in England and France. When she came back to Victoria, Emily made trips to BC's indigenous communities, where she spent time painting villages and totem poles. But after a while at home and discouraged by the public's lack of interest in her art, she stopped painting and instead ran a boarding house, raised sheepdogs, and gave art lessons to children. Emily's art room was an active place full of painting supplies and animals, and she was a lively and interesting teacher. She began to really paint again after taking part in an exhibition of West Coast art at the National Gallery of Canada. There, Emily met the artists who were members of the Canadian Group of Seven. They, especially Lauren Harris, inspired her to devote herself to art. The landscape, skies, and magnificent trees all around her in BC became her favorite subjects and Emily developed a more modern, expressive style all her own. Later, when poor health made it harder for her to go out and paint, she wrote books about her life. One, called Cleewick, included stories about her times with Indigenous peoples. Another, The Book of Small, was a series of stories about her childhood. Emily Carr died in 1945. Her family home in Victoria is now a national and provincial historic site open to visitors.